Okay, so we're going to do a couple of examples on solving um, trig equations. And um, we're going to be doing these also quite a bit. So let's say uh, we want to solve, um, for example, 4 sine t minus square root of 3 equals 2 sine of t. Okay, so um, the first thing we need to do is we need to get um, the trig functions all on the same side. So let's bring the 2 over. So if we bring the 2 sine t over, we would get 2, we would subtract it. So 2 sine t minus square root of 3 equals 0. <clears throat> and we want to use the, the values of the unit circle that we know. And remember, you have to have the first um, quadrant of the unit circle memorized at least. If you want to memorize the entire thing, that's fine, but it's not necessary. Um, the first quadrant is enough. So let me just write them down real quick. But you need to have these in your head so that you can uh, you can do the uh, all the problems. All right. And then we have uh, one half square root of three over two. Okay. So now, <clears throat> um, so here uh, let's solve for sine of t. So sine of t equals square root of 3 over 2. So we just move the root through over to the other side and divide it by 2. Now, um, first of all, well, we know there's infinitely many solutions to this. So let's solve this guy on the interval from 0 to 2 pi. Okay. So um, to find, to solve this guy, it's basically the same thing as when we're finding the values of the trig functions, except that it's backwards. So what you're looking for is, um, first of all, it doesn't really matter the order, but you need two things. You need um, the quadrant and you need the reference angle. So let's do quadrant reference angle. Okay, remember the quadrant you get from whether the uh, value is positive or negative. So since root 3 over 2 is positive, you go back to your, um, your Cartesian plane. You go, okay, where is sine positive? Well, in quadrant 1 or 2. Okay? So you know that. And then the reference angle you get from the unit circle. So sine is root 3 over 2 when the reference angle is pi over 3. Okay. So quadrants 1, 2, reference angle, pi over 3. So what you do is you draw the reference angle on the second quadrant. And then you draw the reference angle on the first quadrant. And then you figure out what those angles are from 0 to 2 pi. So if you start right here, you go to this first one. The first one is pi over 3. So this is your first solution, pi over 3. And then the second one is you start again from here, and then you go to the next one. Well, this is... Um, well, it's 2 pi over 3, but the way to figure it out is if you know this is pi and you go backwards, in other words, subtract pi over 3, you would get to 2 pi over 3. And that's it. That's your answer. Okay, so let's do another one. Let's say we want to find... Let's say we want to solve a... Uh, Something like, this one's not too, too easy. And the same thing on the interval from 0 to 2 pi. So the idea is still exactly the same. Just remember that tangent is actually not right on the unit circle. Um, tangent is sine over cosine or y over x. Okay, so first things first. Um, here, uh, we already have it factored, and there's actually um, two 
Well, there's several solutions, but there's a solution when tangent is equal to zero, and there's a solution when tangent of x is equal to negative one. Okay, so then you have to solve each one of these. Well, tangent x equals zero, this one's not very difficult because you know that tangent is equal to zero where sine is equal to zero. And sine is equal to zero at um, zero. It's equal to zero at pi and it's equal to zero at two pi. So for this one we're going to do something similar to what we did on the last problem. Um, <clears throat> so tangent is, so it's negative so we need to figure out the quadrant. So the quadrants that um, tangent is negative in is going to be in quadrants uh, two and in quadrants uh, four. Now the reference angle, um, now you don't worry about the sign anymore, just one. Um, where is tangent equal to one? Well, you look at um, y over x or sine over cosine and well we know that at pi over four, root two over two divided by root two over two, well that's one, right? So the reference angle is going to be pi over four. So then we do the same thing. So we our reference angle is um, pi over four in quadrants ah uh, not three two and four. And so then we have the reference angle is pi over four. So these angles right here are pi over four. And so then you just need to figure out what angle that is starting from zero. Whoa, my pens are flying around. All right, so here, from here to here, well this would be, if you go to pi and then go back pi over four, that would be three pi over four. So that's one solution. And then if you go from zero all the way here, so this would be, all the way to the end is two pi, and if you subtract pi over four, um, you would get to six pi over four, or three, sorry, seven pi over four. And so those are your solutions. It's um, zero pi, two pi, and 3 pi over 4, 7 pi over 4. And that's it.